Up. I'm just gonna make this video to show people how to set up their battlefield 3 and this is also gonna work for battlefield 4 servers um, but in order to start this you have to turn off ranked and I I suggest you turn off punk buster too cuz punk buster it does nothing it has not been updated in years and over five years it's completely useless and it just causes problems for players and just problems so uh, I'm gonna show you how to turn that off so, uh, okay, so in your startup.txt, that's going to be whoever you rent the server from. This is where you're going to find this file. It's going to look just, just like this. It's going to be named startup.txt. You can either add, you can either copy this. I'll put it down in the description. You're going to rank will be false. And I turned off punk buster because it, it, it's useless. And, uh, so I put that as false, but, uh, yeah. So this, I have my setup through game server. So if you know how to manage through uh, the files on game server, then you're ready to go. But uh, yeah. So then uh, once you turn off ranked, you can customize your server any way you want. Without turning that off, you're not going to be able to do anything. I mean, you can just move maps around and that's it. But you can't mess with the tickets or mess with the team deathmatch or anything like that. But okay, so I'm gonna paste all this, try to put it down in the description. So you can just either use all this, or you can just copy these two and paste them in your startup.txt. Once you paste it, you have to hit restart and refresh the server. All right, so you wanna go to, um, we're gonna download the tool now. So you wanna go to myarchon.net and download Procon um, tool. It's gonna be right here. I'm gonna place it down in the description. Uh, so you want to download the file any second now I will just stop because I already downloaded it's right here so you're gonna get something like this and you're gonna open this up and then you're going to highlight all this you're gonna drag it into whatever folder you make a folder on your desktop and you name it whatever you want so you're gonna drag this into there. And when you do that, it's gonna look, you're gonna click on the folder you dragged it on, you're gonna get this little icon right here. Then you're gonna click on that. Hit agree. All right, so you're gonna get all this. Let me just get set up real quick. Okay, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna hit create connection. And whatever IP your server is, you're gonna put that in there. So mine is 108.61.109.89. And then you're going to put the port of whatever your server is. And then this right here, the user and password is whatever you, whatever company you're using to host your server. If you're using game servers, I use game servers because they're, they're, I've been with them for years. So, but, uh, You put your login and your password. Shit, I have caps on. And you're gonna hit connect. Okay, this is this usually happens right here. It's because my set setup files are wrong, so you're gonna click here. This is my, I have two different passwords. Then you're gonna hit connect. So okay, this is what the menu is gonna look like. All right, so right here, this box here, what you're looking at is you're gonna see all the players, and this is where you can either click on a player and kick them, ban them, or whatever you want to do. And this is your chat. This is where you you can talk in chat, say whatever you want to say. Hey, stop. Stop acting like a dick or whatever. And um, events, that's just what's happening, happened in your server. I don't really mess with that. This is an important one list. This is where all your maps at. I already have my, my map list set up. I'm not going to touch it, but I'm going to show you how, how to do it. So you, this is where all the maps are at. 
so you're going to choose a map click on it once and you're going to hit this little arrow to go and it'll throw it into this box if by one chance that you make a mistake and you don't want the map in there you're going to hit the back arrow and it'll throw it back into the other back into the list once all that is set up you hit the little the little green arrows right here and it'll refresh everything it'll restart the maps to whatever you set up or set it up to all right so if you didn't understand just rewind the video or yeah so here's another important one i don't really mess with this i usually set this up in the server but you can mess with it here you can this is the server name you can add whatever you want this is this here is the message when the person gets into your server they see this message at the bottom and this is another iffy iffy one if you, i never i don't use none of these i just use the, the spam box because that's where your messages are at so if you want to put messages they'll appear in the in the chat box on the top left side but uh, you can just click on that you go to plugin settings then uh, you're gonna click on messages like that it's gonna be this little box over here so right here where you see example message one you type whatever the hell you want to type and then you go to the next one you type and you next one next one next one you put all messages you want I wouldn't advise that because it gets annoying and this is the how long it takes for each message to pop up yep so uh, hold on let me see if I can find the hell is it oh reserve slots there if you want to reserve slots for your clan or people or <clears throat> anybody you want this is how you do it just type their name in down here and you put add soldier and it'll pop them there I'd advise you do it in a lower case because whoever entered the last name here it it does not work in caps you have to do it lower case because I had that problem but uh, yeah that's basically it Let's see if I forgot anything nope and this is this tool will work for battlefield 4 it'll work it's the same setup but yeah oh yeah I forgot how to show you how to set up your uh, game gameplay so you're gonna click here see now all this if you don't do if you don't turn off rank you can't mess with none of this none of this will work if, if your server is set up as ranked it you, you cannot customize none of this so once you okay so player man down that's for TDM so the first one to get to 600 wins and um, let me see game over counter what is it? this is for uh, conquest that's a hundred default I don't touch that if you go up just one click it goes up like 60 tickets so don't don't go crazy and put 600 because it'll go to like 3,000 tickets and I don't know if people want to be that long in the server warm up this is your round star how many players how many players it takes to uh, start the round I have it set at two round restart player count two two this is if you want to copy the way I have. This is for my TDM, but I have mixed maps on my on my server. So yeah, so once you get all that, you hit update. So yeah, that's basically it. I mean, let me see if I forgot anything. Uh, normal hardcore infantry. No, that's nah. I wouldn't mess with. I don't mess with none of that. This is basically the basic stuff you want to touch, and the maps. That's about it. It's pretty simple. And then the players right here, if anybody's messing around, doing stupid, you can just, they'll appear right here. You right click their, their name and you get the, I mean, you just highlight their name and it'll just give you the option to ban them or kick them. But yeah, but uh, if you want to make a, 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 if you go to config generator and you, pl you click on that, it'll pop up the, see the, the setup TXT. It'll look something like that. I don't want to click on it because it has my password on there, so. Yeah, it'll it'll pop up something like this, and then this you can just copy all of it and paste it to your to your server, whoever you rent the server from. That's it. That's your decision. I mean, if you really want to do all that. But yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions, feel free to add me on Origin. My name is Extreme Eighty Eight Z, and I'll answer any questions if you need help with your server or anything. So yeah, that's about it. But uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button button. Help me out. Help me reach a thousand subscribers so I can monetize my videos. All right, please. All right. Have any questions? You know what to do. Comments or add me on Origin. 
Alright, thanks for watching. Hope this helped. Later.